In New Zealand today, there are over 8,000 volunteer firefighters covering 80% of our country. I've always wanted to be a volunteer firefighter, so come with me. I'm going to check it out. Ah. G'day. G'day, Clinton, is it? Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm Andrew Beattie. I'm oh, the nice Chief to... Fire Officer. Nice to um, meet you. You're looking at joining Community Station? Indeed. OK, come on through to the watch room and we'll have a chat. Steady. Volunteer fire brigades like this one at Kumu are an integral part of the community. Volunteer firefighters not only put out fires and carry out rescues, but get involved in many community projects as well. So Andrew, for people who potentially want to get into the fire service as a volunteer like myself, what's the procedure? What do you have to do? Firstly, I need to know that you live within five kilometres of the station. The second thing is I need to know that um, you're committed to, to being able to turn up. Mm -hmm. um, I need to know, for instance, when we do put an application in through you, that you don't have a criminal record because you won't get into the fire service. And I need to see how you basically get on with the other guys and handle it for a few weeks. So, Andrew, do you think I could have a look around and see, see no what problem it's all about? All. Um, I'll pass you on to our training officer, Simon Shields, and he'll show you what it means to be a volunteer firefighter. Sounds good. Right, because we might get a call today at any time, we'll kick you out in the right sort of gear. Got your firefighter gum boots, steel cap, and they have a steel line in the bottom of them. A level one jacket, which you can wear for minor scrub fires and car accidents. Flash hood to protect your ears in a house fire. Level two pants and a level two jacket. Red helmet is standard for rookies. And this way, no one's going to mistake me for someone who actually knows what they're doing. Yeah, that's right. Initial firefighter training takes about six months, which involves observing and helping out as a rookie at the station. Then I'd have to complete a seven-day firefighter training course in Rotorua, after which I'd become a qualified volunteer firefighter. Kitted out and looking the part, Simon showed me around the rescue tender, which I'll be working with today. In this locker, we've got all our rescue gear, which is the, the jaws of life. Hose reel for, uh, to start off with house fires, and then down here we've got the larger hose. So around here is the pump panel. The driver is the pump operator as well, so he not only drives the truck but also operates the pump for the water. So this is one of the most important pieces of gear we carry on the truck. It's BA, or breathing apparatus. It's used when uh, there's toxic chemicals or smoke from a house fire that we don't want to breathe in. A bit like going for a dive. Put your flashlight on over the top, stop your ears getting burnt. And then when you're doing this, your partner's checking you to make sure everything's right. So now you've got your breathing apparatus, or BA, on. The first thing we'll get you to do is run a hose reel off the truck. All right. The next thing we're going to do is get to run all out a uh, 70 mil instantaneous hose. Stand on the hose, get it rolling, roll it out. Keep your hands up as high as you can. Your one's not very straight, by the way. I'll stand on it for you. Eh? Okay. Might I just add, I'm carrying a lot more weight than he is at the moment. Only on your back. Okay. See you later. After my BA training, it was time to team up with the Greenwatch lads and lasses of the Kimu Volunteer Brigade who come from all walks of life. I'm Warren Marshall. I'm a tarmac coordinator out at Auckland International Airport. I'm Mike Hutchins. I'm a parts manager out in Penrose. I'm Carl Canham and I'm a uh, Transformer Design Engineer. I'm Mike Boston and I'm a Police Officer at Helensville. I'm Amy Murray and I'm a Student Nurse. My first Greenwatch team task was a ladder exercise. Yeah. Being the middle of the Rugby World Cup, this was a very important task. I had to change the station flag. <laughs> so all we need to do is go up the ladder, yeah. listen to instructions from the guys, change the fire service flag for the All Blacks flag. The commitment to be a volunteer fireman, you either do it properly or you don't bother and doing it properly means that you will get up at 3 o'clock in the morning even though you've got work at 8 o'clock that same day. You will come to training for probably at least 90% of Mondays through the year to do the training. You'll do courses that come up. You'll be available to do promotional stuff as well, with smoke alarms and those sort of things, and, and fire awareness. That's all part of our job these days. Thank you, boys. There, real man's hands. Rescue and firefighting skills are constantly being honed by training exercises, and today is no exception. The exercise is to a car crash. Kimu volunteers attend about 300 calls per year, and 18% of these are for road accidents. One of the youngest Kimu firefighters is Amy Murray. 
the first call that I went to was a fatal car accident. I went to three in my first week. My dad was actually a firefighter, so I've kind of grown up on the station. Just something that I've always wanted to do. Yeah, it takes its toll, but there's heaps of support to like work through it. Teamwork and family support is paramount in the force, as the work can be stressful, especially at accidents like this one. CUMU Volunteer Brigade recognises this by organising regular family get-togethers at the station. And someone tells me, hey, Social side is really important for us because for, for two reasons. Firstly, the guys give their own time, so they need to be able to unwind and, and it's part of feeling part of the brigade as well. But also, they couldn't survive without the support of their wives and partners. Because if the wife or partner doesn't agree with the husband getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. we're in trouble and we don't have that person. 17-year-old twins Andrew and Michael are CUMU's latest recruits. He went on his first call, actually, just yesterday. Um, I haven't gone on my first call yet. Yeah, it was quite exciting. I was just sitting at home and I kind of freaked out a little. I was like, ah, oh, do I go? Just go for it. And I just came down here and managed to just, just get on the truck. And what was the call out for? I was a scrub fire, trees on fire just down the road. So. A what? A trees on fire just down oh, the trees, road. Oh, trees, so. cheese on fire. Yeah. <laughs> What's someone overcooking the hamburgers or something? <laughs> <laughs> trees on fire. So you put it out all right, not too many problems. Nah, was sweet ass. Part of the community and education work the volunteers take part in is helping out with the Right Track program. The attendees have been referred to the program by the courts, and John is the Right Track course organiser. I suppose one would describe it as a rehabilitative program for young people aged between 15 and 25 who have been apprehended for doing something exceedingly stupid in a vehicle. Tonight, the CUMU volunteer firefighters show the attendees what the results of their actions might have been how there is a good chance that the rescue teams that come to their rescue will be volunteers. And they show them the skills required to free drivers and passengers in a crash. And if things do go wrong, how quickly a fatal car fire can spread. So, is the program a success? Over 80% of our kids have never offended again once they've attended the program. My day with the CUMU volunteers is over. So, how did I do? I think Tintin did really well today. He was quick and eager to learn and I sincerely hope he joins the Volunteer Brigade in the Force Service. Man, that was so much fun. I had an absolute blast. Look what we did to that car. Oh, it was like sirens, adrenaline, and the gear, the work. I didn't even get to put out a fire, and I absolutely loved it. So if you're sitting at home, you're thinking about joining the fire service, stop thinking about it, get here, and get yourself enrolled. To become a volunteer firefighter, you need to be fit, be a team player, and be willing to be called upon when required. All basic training takes place at your local volunteer fire station, supplemented by a week's training at the fire training headquarters in Rotorua. Once qualified, you can progress to senior firefighter and on to becoming an officer. Although unpaid, the work is very rewarding with many of the skills you learn being able to transfer into your normal work life. For further information about the New Zealand Fire Service, go to www.fire.org.nz. see more of New Zealand on air.